What's up guys, Print My Shed here. Um, I just wanted to make a little video about... Uh, I watched just watched the video and it's basically GameSpot again, pissing me off. Um, not just GameSpot, but Danny O'Dwyer, um, the guy who's like in charge of GameSpot. Um, I just watched his video, I think it was called um, Breaking Up With Assassin's Creed. And it's like a video of him sat in sat at like a cafe or something, and he's drinking a beer and he's talking to the camera as if as if we're Assassin's Creed, um, and he's basically saying, "Oh, you've changed. I don't think we can grow in our relationship." And blah blah blah. This that and the other. It's quite shit actually. Um, and if I mean, he goes on. First of all, I'd just like to point out that I've, I'm not a big Assassin's Creed fan. Never have been. Um, I've played the first one. I enjoyed the first one, whereas a lot of people didn't like the first one. Um, I couldn't stand um, Ed, Ezio, the Italian assassin, and I think they farted around with that too much with his his story. So I wasn't really big on on that get on them three games. Um, um, and I wasn't big on Assassin's Creed Three, even though I bought that as well. Um, it took ages to get into, and I just didn't wasn't feeling the game. I also had a bl uh, black flag, but my save file got corrupt, and I had to start again, and I couldn't be asked starting again. Um, but all the way through that, I've always said to myself, "Oh, do you know what would be cool? Like a good setting for an Assassin's Creed game w would be Victorian London." I've always said that, and when I fa when I found out that they were going to release, um, that's my phone. When I found out that they were going to release an Assassin's Creed game set in London. Um, I kept my eye on it and I was really really interested about it because I thought oh, it would be a really good set in London would be quite good, be a lot of stuff you could do with it like uh, Jack the Ripper, Sherlock Holmes stuff like that, a lot of um, British um, famous British people in the past that shaped the country and the world uh, so when it came out I was like uh, I was oh sorry and then Unity Unity came out and that was a disaster so I avoided that like the plague and I was kind of like well that's that's kind of it for Assassin's Creed, and then obviously Syndicate got um, announced, and it was uh, Victorian London, and I was quite excited about it. And I thought, right, cool, it's evolving. You know, it's getting forward, it's getting more towards. You know, it's evolving through time. It'll be interesting to see how they do it and how they deal with um, Victorian London. So, I mean, first of all, the, the graphics are amazing. Um, the city is fantastic. The city is absolutely huge, um, and it's pretty much all unlocked. You can go anywhere. Um, you start off in Croydon, which is a bit strange, and then you can go anywhere in, in London, um, and that's where you are on the map. But it's a big map. Um, a bit disappointed that they haven't put Tower Bridge in there, but then again, they could put that in DLC. Um, free DLC would be nice. Uh, so anyway this came out and I was just like really excited about it and then I started to play it um, and comparing it to the, going back to what I was saying about Daniel Dwyer's video about it um, he's basically saying that a lot of core Assassin's Creed fans don't like this kind of game and the way it's evolved because it's more of evolved into like a sandbox game rather than an Assassin's Creed game now I completely disagree with him I think the whole video it, I, I, I agree with a lot of these um Sorry, disagree with a lot of these journalists, game journalists, because I think half the time they just sit around in an office um, looking for things to make videos about, and half of them are videos that they make are shit, um, just to keep themselves busy. And if you notice, they just use big words, and you know, it's just, just they could make it like sound a lot simpler and stuff. I mean, I know what they're saying, I understand what they're saying, but. They like to show off that, that they are journalists and they know big words and they know, you know, half these journalists aren't even gamers. They just that was the only way into journalism, so that's what they've done. But he goes on and he says um, that he doesn't like the way it's evolved. He doesn't feel like an Assassin's Creed game now. Um, he says that he doesn't like the the grapple the grapple hook. Um, which I'm a massive, like, I couldn't even believe that he actually said that, because I was just like, right, well, to be fair, I think the way he used it was he was in... 
I used to, it's something like oh you enjoy climbing. I used to enjoy climbing big tall big tall buildings, and now they've introduced like a Batman style grapple hook that can get you to the top of the building straight uh, straight away, which is true. They have just like this. You know they have one push of a button and you can get to the top of a building, um, pretty much any building. But you don't have to use it. You can still do it. Still do all the climbing. I mean, the f it, the fucking map, and this is the problem that I've got when he said something like that. Is the fucking map is London? You're in London. You're in a city. Um, they'd probably moan about it if they didn't have some sort of um, quick scope cable to get to the top of a bloody um, a tower or anything like that. And also, it's set in the industrial era where stuff's getting invented. You do a lot of you do a lot of missions with. Um, Alexander Bell, the guy who invented the telephone, and uh, he actually fixes um, your grapple and, and modifies it for you. So it's not just the fact that it's like, or it's a cheating mechanic, kind of like, oh, it's lazy, like, you know, people can't be asked climbing anymore, but it would just make the game a lot longer, and you'd be like, I could just imagine people being like, oh, what, my mission's all the way over there? And if I can't fast travel, what, oh my god, I've got to go on foot, I can't, there's no quick way of getting over there. So I think blaming, taking points away from, or taking like, being negative about a game just because its mechanics doesn't doesn't fit you when the game itself is evolving. I mean, the game's gone from what? Uh, I can't remember where the first um, the first game was set, but it's gone from like the Dark Ages where the Templars are about and they're like knights and there's you know. And then they've gone to Italy, and they've gone all the way through time, like to, to the, through the American Revolution. They've gone through the French Revolution, and now they're doing like London. And then who knows where the next one's going to be? It's probably going to come full circle and end up in the modern day. To be honest, to be honest. So what are they going to moan about? Or oh, you can get a taxi. That's a joke, you know. But I do think you know being able to get a taxi would be funny. But I don't think you should take away the whole video. I mean, if I could be asked, I put a link in the description. But if you want to go and watch it. Um, it's on the GameSpot um, YouTube channel and it's called My Breakup with Assassin's Creed or something like that. Um, and I just think it's it's a pile of shite. I just think, I, fair enough if he doesn't like the game. But the game, it's not a bad game. Um, this is my favourite Assassin's Creed out of all of them. And another thing he said it takes ages to get into, which it doesn't. I mean, the longest one it, that, that, ever that it took to get into was Assassin's Creed 3 for me. Um, but like I say, I'm not a big Assassin's Creed fan. I was getting a bit tired of them um, coming out every year, just churning them out like um, Call of Duties. But this one, I'm really, really surprised with. This one is, um, I'm, I'm, this is my favourite Assassin's Creed. You know, you can play as two different people. Um, I like the zip line. I think it's it adds something to it because I I'm not a big, I couldn't be asked climbing. Um, and it's there as an option. It's not mandatory like Danny O'Dwyer's ma making out to be. Um, and it's the time, in, it's the time and the the place. It's like the Industrial Revolution. You know, you can use guns now. Um, you've always been able to use like kind of guns, or people have been able to use guns at you as well. But I think it's a great game. Um, I just wanted to put up my point of view there, disagreeing with that uh, with that guy. But GameSpot's gone downhill in my my book. The past six months, every single review they do, they usually give away the ending. Um, I don't know what's going on over there. And IGN don't seem that bad anymore. Um, I think they've really sorted themselves out, but GameSpot seem to be heading into that direction. Um, they were bashing Star Wars Battlefront. Everything I read on Twitter was always negative, and it was always GameSpot posting something negative about Star Wars Battlefront. Oh, it hasn't got this, it hasn't got this. But I enjoyed this game. I really think it's a great game. Um, the world, there's, you know, there's hardly any loading screens as well, which is a big, big, big thing for me as well. I think that's great. Um, but yeah, I mean, look at it. All it's a living, breathing city, and it's you know pretty much it's not full size London, but it's it's definitely um, definitely uh, definitely very impressive. And as the consoles get more powerful, the cities are going to get bigger. So, so yeah, I just wanted to put that video up there because I watched that video and I thought, you know what, this is just like um, clickbait kind of kind of thing. 
it's just they're just trying to be different because um, the game is actually doing quite well it's been reviewed quite well um, and it's you know it's just him trying to be different and I've got nothing against Danny O'Dwyer personally I just l watched that video and I was just like and at the end he's like oh, no, I've been fucking the witcher the whole time as, you, as the camera's panning out and it's just like ah fuck off Yeah, that was cool. But yeah, there's loads to do. You got a gang. You can control and like up level up your gang on this. You can, like I say, you can control two different people. You can switch between J Jacob and his sister. Um, and it's a great game. I'm really, really, really involved in it. Um, but yeah, the whole grapple hook thing and everything. I just thought it was a bit. You know, think think about what you're saying before you say it. It's set in Victorian London, the industrial height of the industrial era. The city is twice as big as like Unity, or near near enough the same size, or just a little bit bigger than Unity. You know, um, how else do you think you're supposed to get around from, from A to B? Are you supposed to climb everything? You know, I'm sure there is people. You got to cater for everybody. I'm sure there are people that like to climb and scale everything and. But there's people like me that go, oh fuck, I've got to get all the way up there. You know, just watch another video about people working, get gamers that gamers that work and don't have enough time to play games. You've got to think about them people as well, because unfortunately I'm one of them. Um. So you got to think about that. You know, what is wrong with just having that grapple and being able to just scale a fucking chimney? quick as a flash but anyway I'm rambling on now but that's just the point I wanted to make um, definitely worth getting this game I would uh, strongly recommend picking it up if you like your Assassin's Creed games even if you don't like your Assassin's Creed games you know you don't have to play any of the previous ones it just jump, you know, dumps, jumps you straight in um, so that's it guys just wanted to chuck that video there and um, I'm going to be streaming some more Alien Isolation tomorrow at some point so keep an eye out for that happy Halloween and we'll see you again for another video